There's a big difference between needing him and loving him. Satan told God himself to his face in the story of Job because he's tracked men from the beginning, true? He said, Job ain't no different than nobody else. He's only blessing you because you blessed him. Take away the blessing, he'll curse you to your face like everybody else in this room. That's the devil's plea to God. You got to make sure he ain't right where you're concerned. Trouble is, he's right on most accounts on that one. And Job lost everything and didn't have much understanding and made a lot of mistakes in his speech. And some of it we've turned into theology, unfortunately. Like God gives and takes as if God took everything from Job. It's, we, we butcher that story so bad. I'll tell you what God does. He gives and he takes. He gives his son, takes away our sin. Gives his son, takes away our guilt. Gives his son, restores us as family. He doesn't give you a baby and then take your baby to test your heart. God doesn't tempt any man. We've got some perverted theology out there. But even after Job didn't curse God, God said, did you see he hasn't cursed me? I told you he had more integrity than any other man, that he's more righteous than any man. He said, skin for skin, a man will do anything to save his own life. Coming right out of the mouth of the devil, straight to God. It's a fascinating story. How quick he quips because he has watched men for generations. And he's speaking out of the confidence of knowing men's hearts. Isn't that something? Man will do anything to save his own. What's the gospel say? Give your life. Don't save it. Because if you find your life, you'll lose it. But if you lose it for my sake, you'll find it. So the enemy is saying every man loves himself and he'll do anything to save his own life. So we slowly evolve into preaching messages that give us his blessing, his eternal life, and still keep what we're supposed to give. And all of a sudden, we're still full of ourselves as we're proclaiming him. Because we're hurt, discouraged, angry, frustrated, can't get along, jumping ship, hopping churches, church shopping, I'm not being mean. I'm being real. Amen. It makes no difference if we stay here all night and pray and sing if we fail to shine. Because nobody lights a lamp and puts a basket over it. But instead on a lampstand for all to see. Church, let your light so shine before men. So they see your life lived and give glory to the Father. That sounds like image to me. That sounds like following Jesus to me. And if I can't find what I'm thinking, and I can't find what I'm speaking in the life of Jesus in his mind and mouth, then I got to wonder why it's in mine and how it got there. And I ought to probably just get it out. Why? Because I'm not following us. And that's not high-minded. That's just wise. I'm following him. Yeah, but brother, everybody has their moments. No, that's why you have yours, because you believe that in your heart and your position for it. And you're never letting grace have the power, the right, and the ability to change your experience. And then if you try to talk about it, it's heresy, because we're so low, you know. Well, the last I read, he raised us up to sit in heavenly places with him. And the last I read, we are the body of Christ. And we can be pure, even as he is pure, walk in the light as he's walking in the light, love just as he loved. And if any man says he abides in him, ought to walk even as he walked in. He said, if you believe in me, the things I do, you'll do. Now, I don't need any more proof than that. And I'm not going to let our own petty life experience talk me out of eternal truth. And he's coming with a sword out of his mouth, word of God. And heaven and earth going to pass away and his word's going to remain. I'm going to live this life by his word. I'm going to find grace to be saved. Yeah? Through faith. Are you with me? So it's just a good heart check. Not correcting anybody. I didn't drive here to scold you, to correct you, to set you straight. They gave me a mic. I'm just telling you what I see and what I believe and how I lived the last 28 years. 
you can see I'm not jaded. Travel is so wearisome and churches burn ya. I get in those conversations, I look cockeyed and don't even know what people are trying to say. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't wake up for you to love me today. Or I'd be at your mercy, I'd rather be at his. See, if I woke up for you to love me, I'm only as good as you loved me. And that could make me insecure. And then that could dictate my actions and my motives even more. Now I might go out of my way and do good things just to get an accolade or a compliment. I'd rather just follow him. It's easier <laughs> and way cleaner. Amen? Amen. Amen.